do I have the right price? Well, I like to think that I have the right price. However, you know, everybody's got an opinion about what something's worth. There are lots of factors that go into selling a home fast, from staging to curb appeal. But there's no question the most important is price. Price too low and you may sell fast, but you leave money on the table. Price too high, well, you may not sell at all. So what's a seller to do? There are lots of tools that can help. Free websites, a comparative market analysis provided by an agent, paying for a professional appraisal. All useful, none perfect, since they may not recognize your home's unique features and rely on past instead of current information. What many sellers do is rely entirely on their agent. That's not always a great idea, because remember, that agent is going to be biased toward a lower price. Faster your house sells, less work they have to do. Better idea? Use the available tools. Listen to your agent. But take an additional step. Put on a buyer's hat and actually look at homes for sale in your neighborhood as well as ones that recently sold. Learn the market. And if you can stay objective, you're going to have a much better idea of what your home is really worth. Pose as a buyer and look at things through a buyer's eyes and a buyer's perspective. Something else important, decide up front how much and when to reduce the price if you're not getting immediate action. Bottom line, many sellers set a price based on how much they paid for the house or how much they need out of the house. Both these things are completely irrelevant. You want to know the price is right? Then study the market yourself. Talk to your pro, use whatever tools are available, and have a backup plan. Now what you need is more information and links. Both are waiting at MoneyTalksNews.com. Just do a search for real estate. For Money Talks News, I'm Stacy Johnson.